What is up everyone and welcome back. Um, I have a lot of stuff to do today, but first off, my truck is an absolute mess. I mean, look at this. This is, I have a chainsaw. I can't even open the door. I mean, this is by far the messiest it's ever been. Uh, I got my mower and then I have to empty all that out. So the first step for today, this long, this is gonna be a long day, um, is to empty the truck. So let's get started. All right, so I got the truck cleaned finally. Um, that had been like that for about a week and it was, it, it took me like an hour to clean up. But we're on the road now. I have a super busy day. Um, today's Monday, the day after um, Easter. Um, I did have one lawn to mow yesterday, which I got finished. Um, and then actually on Friday, I had jaw surgery. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm still quite swollen over here. So my work has just been piling up over these last couple days. Um, and I started a landscaping job on Saturday, actually, and I didn't get it f finished. So I just have so much on my plate today. I'm I'm glad I got the the truck cleaned. That was the first step and I have a lot to do. So this is my first spring rush in lawn care and boy am I feeling it today. My goodness, I did not expect to ever feel this overwhelmed in a day. Um, so I mowed for three people last week and I still haven't charged them because I'm trying to get my credit card stuff, like the payment processing under control so I can actually start doing that because I've never done that before. So I have three people to charge today. I have three estimates I have to get out today. At least one that I absolutely have to get out today. Oh, four estimates. And then I have to finish up the landscaping job. I have to mow three lawns. And then I got two calls today about lawn mowing because they saw my yard sign. So they want to give me, want me to give them a quote on their lawn mowing. And then I actually got a call last week about lawn mowing and landscaping. They want a quote as well. So I have just so much to do. Um, and m my face still kind of hurts just a tiny bit from jaw surgery, um, as you could imagine. I mean, it was a super minor one. Um, I actually had a bigger jaw surgery um, a year or two ago. And there was just one of the brackets needed taken out. So they took that out. But I, I still am rec recovering from that. So right now, um, I'm going to go get those estimates filled out. And then we'll talk a little bit um, after that. So stay tuned. Alrighty, so I just finished up with all my estimates and everything. And I forgot my wallet at my house. So I'm headed back to the house right now to get my wallet. And I forgot to mention, the reason I was so stressed, uh, the reason I was so stressed is because I have a mulching job to do tomorrow that's going to take all day. So I really don't have any time tomorrow. And this is the first mow of the season for everyone. So it kind of needs to be done this week, like at the beginning of the week would be great. So I was a little stressed out there just because there was so much up in the air, but I got the one quote done that was the most important and I'll save the rest for tomorrow I should be able to get those done in the morning but right now I'm headed back to my house to grab my wallet I got to pick up some mulch which is kind of an issue because there's not really any place close to me that sells the mulch that I want for this landscaping job but we are on our way um, it's it's one o'clock I reckon this landscaping job will take an hour, maybe two hours, and then I'll have to, yeah, I mean, I'm still not sure if I'm gonna get all this mowing done today, but I guess that's the price I pay for, I don't know. Anyways, I wanted to make this video because I wanted to talk about getting started. So when it comes to lifting weights, and starting a business, really just anything you wanna do, I'd say just get started. That's been the biggest thing that has helped me and I think it could probably help you as well. So I've been, let me explain. <laughs> so I've been pretty much lifting weights my whole life on and off. Uh, but when it came, came down to wanting to get into bodybuilding stuff, 
I researched for a long time, but really I've learned the most within the last year or two, like of actually doing it. I researched a lot and I tried to get a grasp of what it entailed, but it wasn't until I actually started doing the bodybuilding lifting style that I've learned over the last year. I've learned the most through that time. And same with starting my business. Like I was Googling (laughs) just the smallest little details of how I could be the best in the lawn care industry and what it took to do certain jobs and stuff like that. But honestly, I had no idea what I was getting myself into. And over this last year, I've, I've just learned so much about different jobs, about how I can do better than, or like how I can exceed in different areas compared to other companies. And it, I've just gotten s- such a better field of view since starting my lawn care company and even when I started I had just just such a minuscule idea of what it actually entailed and I'm really starting to learn like there's so much to learn there's just so much to learn and what's helped me is just getting started I am typically a person who just likes to get started and think later and it, it's kind of messed me up in some areas, but it has taught me a lot because you get your feet wet and you're just in the day to day and you, you learn, you have questions. Like I've had questions that I would have never thought to ask unless I was actually doing this stuff. So if you're thinking of starting a new workout routine, a new diet, you want to start a business, I mean... There's definitely safe ways to do it, but I'd say getting started is your first step and you can Google and research all you want to try and get started, but you're not going to learn as much as you could from just getting a couple of clients and just hours under your belt. I mean, you don't even have to get clients. You could work for someone else and you could ask a lot of questions. You could, you could you could um, discover a lot of questions you may not have had before. So that is what I wanted to talk about today. Uh, I actually did make a video on it earlier this week, but I wasn't a huge fan of how it turned out. So I'm making this now. And I just pulled in our house. So I'm going to pick up my wallet, turn around. We're going to go buy some mulch, get this landscaping job done, get the mowing job done and hopefully get prepared for tomorrow. So let me grab my wallet and let me think, do I want to end this video here? I don't know. I will say I have been wanting to start more of a vlog style of video because it just seems more interesting to me and this just car talking stuff is not super exciting for me. So I don't know, but we're here. Let me grab my wallet and I'll get back to you guys. All right, I made it out here. I actually drove uh, to one of my mowing clients. Got to get this yard mowed today. Um, So I'm going to mow this really quick, and then we can talk in the car for a second. I don't really want to show off the house uh, just for privacy, but I finished up the lawn. um, And, well, let me show you the edging as well here. Not too bad, pretty slick. So this was actually my, this is the furthest I have to drive for a lawn care service. So I actually drove down here because I need to stop at Lowe's to pick up mulch for that landscaping job just because it's so far out of the way anyways. So I decided to just mow here. Now I'm going to the landscape job and then I have two more mowings, I think after that. But in the spirit of this video, um, the topic of this video, I would say I have been wanting to do a vlog style video. So this was my attempt to do it. And I have, it's not gonna be good. And I don't expect it to be good, but on the topic of the video, um, it's 
starting the thing and then I can over time improve on it because I've decided I don't want to just sit down and talk in front of a camera. I want to do like a more interesting style of a vlog and then I can talk about whatever I'm thinking about because I think a lot throughout the day and if I just sit down for one minute I like try and force myself to think of what to say whereas if I film throughout the day I'm constantly thinking of new things. So this was me throwing myself into a vlog style of video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I will try to get better at it and I am trying to release more videos, but I'm a busy bee, a very busy bee. I hope you enjoyed the video though and I will see you all in the next one. Thank you for stopping by, it means a lot.